So we know the infection rates are still high in Sutton, but thanks to the vaccination programme, we can start to think about the future and start to think about how we're going to recover from this terrible pandemic. And that's why we've set up the COVID Recovery Fund. We're working in partnership with voluntary and community groups. We want to think about how we can offer new services that will be a real benefit to some of the most vulnerable people living in our borough. And that's why I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sutton Mencap this afternoon to see how they're successfully using this funding to offer new services, bringing people together and having a bit of fun. But most importantly, having that social interaction that's just so very important. My name's Dave Hobday. I'm the Chief Executive here at Sutton Mencap. Um, Sutton Mencap is a charity, a local charity that supports adults and children with learning disability. We probably work with, I guess, around, in normal times, pre-COVID, probably around uh, 70 or 80 children a week and maybe around 100 adults, uh, typically, uh, that we support. The COVID Recovery Fund is funding a programme that we put together which we've called Step by Step. We were very aware that we've got um, many people who would normally come to our services who haven't been out much uh, or, or at all in some cases uh, while the pandemic has been, has been going on. And, uh, and we were really aware that people needed some confidence and some reassurance that it was, it was okay to come and that we could provide a safe space to be able to do that. So we started with running three sessions a week. Uh, tonight's is one of those, which is a Monday night, and we do a, a tea and cake session, which, um, which actually has been proved to be incredibly popular. We've had really good numbers coming to it. And it's outdoors, so we've got some good protection and some good arrangements around, around COVID, which is, which is good. Um, we've also run a, a group that we were running at a local park, but the weather has really stopped that from working. And so we're moving it here, so we've got a bit of flexibility about whether to, we could have a few uh, indoor activities or, or, or outdoors, and those, that's on a Tuesday evening uh, and that's more sport related and we're doing some cricket sessions up at the Phoenix Centre uh, and again that's indoor but it's quite well spaced out and we've got a, a, a cricket provider that comes in and supports people doing those activities and they've been incredibly popular and they're going really well as well so and the feedback's been been great it's been it's been what we wanted it to be people are coming out and really enjoying it. Today I've become to see all my friends that had... And was there cake? The cake was absolutely delicious. Good. It went down a tree. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the people here. And, and it's good to see and everyone again. It's nice again. to see everyone again. And it's, life's been slowly going back to normal again. We just want it to see it all back to normal again now. So, so the purpose, what we're really trying to do with this, is we're very conscious that people haven't been out, that, you know, that there are some issues around confidence in taking part in community activities again. And we want people to feel that it's okay to do this, to go and meet their friends. And, and absolutely, that's what we're seeing tonight, uh, is that we've got a, a good group of people here. And, and actually just sitting and talking to people. They've met online, they've had a bit of contact with each other during this period, but to actually meet face to face. Uh, and it's, you know, we're, we're still following sort of protective arrangements around COVID, COVID and infection control measures, but nonetheless to be able to meet with other people and talk with them is, is, uh, is just a great thing for people to do. The COVID pandemic has been a huge challenge for all of us, but we believe that by working together, by providing those services that people want and add real value, we can be ambitious for our borough, for our residents, our visitors, our businesses and our community, and we can ensure that everyone has the opportunity to live, work and raise a family here in our borough. So thanks to Sutton Mencap and thanks to everyone for all the work that you're doing.